binaries, bytes, and bit strings are all essential for handling raw binary data in Elixir. Let's explore how they work and why they're so crucial with Elixir programming. First, binaries are sequences of bytes denoted with the double chevron. A binary is a bit string where the number of bits is divisible by eight. So let's open up our terminal and start the Elixir shell with lowercase iex. For example, double chevron 255 is a binary equivalent to uh, double chevron. If we do zero B and then all eight bits would be turned on one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 255 is the equivalent of all of that, it's just a more readable value. And from right to left in a binary number, the first one is value one all the way to 128. So you just, you just add them all in between. And you can also even see that 255 in binary is equivalent to our hex value, FF. Okay, so those two are also equal. So a byte is eight bits representing integer numbers from zero to 255. So all those bits on is 255, all those bits off are zero. So with 255, that represents the maximum value of a single byte. Now, bit strings are sequences of bits that might not align to full bytes. For example, we can do something like this one uh, colon colon size three and then double chevron outside. This is a bit string and it only uses three bits. So we can demonstrate some binary um, operations as well. Inside double chevrons, we can do something like this. So we can do a binary value like one one zero and then double colon, colon, and say that it's only three bits, comma, and then we can do another binary number here, and this is zero, one, zero, and it's also only going to be three bits. When we hit enter, it will give us a value of 50 uh, bit size six. So this really just combines two binary values in a more readable bit string. And the way this would work is you basically, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now, from right to left, you just kind of combine those values, right? So it's zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, and then you add those up to the value 50. So you can see how bit strings represented this way are a lot easier to read than binary values. We can also illustrate type specifiers with our bit strings. We can do things like this. So five colon colon uh, integer dash size three. So you can write a bit string this way. We can also write a bit string um, like the shorthand version, just like that. And then we can also do it the way that we see it being represented here. So we can do size three like that. So all three of those things are the same thing. Now binaries overflow behavior, when you do something like this, we all know 255 is the highest number. And if we say that it is equal to zero, it's going to return true. And this is because the most significant um, bit is truncated. So you have 255 and then you have that one left over, which is truncated and now it is equal to zero. Now I believe I already mentioned this, but strings under the hood are binaries. So you can we can do things like hello um, equals, and then we can do the binary value of hello, which is 104, 101, 108, 108, and then one, one, one. So that is true, that equals. And now a couple advanced binary operations, we can actually split binaries with a kernel function. And a kernel function you'll normally see have a colon in front of it. So we can do binary dot split, and then we can um, do the double chevrons. And we could pass in a binary of one, two, and three. And then comma, we want to split it at the binary 
two and then close those parentheses. And now we're going to have uh, two binaries in a list, just one and three, because they split at the two. And then we can also join binaries with the concatenation operator. So we can do things like one binary, and then the concatenation operator is just less than, greater than. And then we can do another binary here of value two. And when we hit enter, we'll have one um, binary value with both values. Now there are tons of use cases working with binaries like parsing binary formats, like checking image types from their binary data, handling network data and string operations can be used on binary versions of strings as well. So the string module, do you remember using this? We did string upcase. Now, if we pass in our hello binary value, which is 104, 101, 108, whoop, 108, and then 111, close that off, parentheses. Now we're going to get back hello, all caps back. So I think, I think that's pretty cool. And then this wraps up our exploration of binaries, bytes, and bit strings. These concepts are vital for a wide range of applications. So experiment around in the shell, and I'll see you in the next video.